to how you make an initial commitment to a marketable security investment in regards to making it maybe a 5, 10, 15 per cent commitment, how heavy you decide to go into a position initially? Well, we ordinarily don't like small positions. Yeah, we, we like to go in heavy. I mean, it, if, 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 if we want to invest in a business or through the stock market, we want to put a lot of money in. Uh, uh, you know, we, we do not believe in a little of this and a little of that. So uh, at our present size, we're limited primarily by the availability of the quantity we want rather than, than restricting ourselves based on some percentage of, of uh, a total portfolio. Uh, I can't, it's very hard for me to think of a stock we quit on in terms of buying except because we were going to run into some 10 percent limit where we would get liable for short swing profits or become insiders or that sort of thing. But we almost never want to quit. Isn't that right, Charlie? Well, not unless the price goes up. Yeah. yeah. And of course, that's where we made our big mistakes. I mean, we have, or I've made the big mistakes, actually. Uh, uh, I've, there have been a couple of things that we knew enough to buy that were in our circle of competence where we could have bought lots of stock, except it went up a little bit, and then we, we faded because of the price. But we didn't fade because we didn't want to put more than an X dollars in. Uh, if we find an idea that we want to put $500 million in, we probably would be even happier if we could put three or four billion in. Uh, you know, we, we, good ideas are too scarce to be parsimonious with once you find them. Yeah, having narrowly averted the mistake of being unwilling to pay up at C's Capital, we've gone on and made the same damn mistake several times with respect to marketable securities. We evidently learn very slowly. It's cost us many, many, many billions of dollars, too. Now, those are opportunity cost billions. They don't show up in the financial statements. But the amount of money that's been blown by dumb decisions at headquarters at Berkshire Hathaway is awesome. Well said. Yeah. 